3.4b, Equations with Decimals and Fractions, Clearing Fractions with an LCD, or Least Common Denominator. If the equation has fractions, we clear the fractions by multiplying each term by the LCD, or Least Common Denominator which means we must first find the least common denominator and then we will be able to clear the fraction. After multiplying, we can reduce to get an equation with no fractions. So if you use this method properly, it will result in no fractions. Example one. In example one, you can see that there is multiple fractions. And in order to solve this equation without having to get all of the fractions similar, is easily done by first finding the least common denominator. The least common denominator of six, three, and two is six. Once we have the least common denominator, we can then use that and we multiply each term, including those that are, are not fractions, by a six. So I start by multiplying the first term by six, and then I multiply the second term by a six, and then finally the third term by a six. In doing so, I end up with 30x over six, minus six over three equals 42 over two. So far, we still have fractions. In order to get rid of these, we must reduce. All of these should reduce evenly, otherwise we have picked the wrong least common denominator. 30 divided by six is five x. Six divided by three gives us a negative two, and 42 divided by two gives us 21. As you can see, we have now eliminated all of the fractions, and we have a simple equation to solve. We start by adding two to both sides. Remember when solving equations, you are essentially doing PEMDAS backwards. This means that we will get 5x equals 23. Next, we must divide both sides by 5, giving us the answer x equals 23 fifths. Remember, if the fraction cannot be reduced and it does not divide out evenly, you should leave it in fractional form. This means our answer is 23 fifths. In example two, we once again have fractions in our equation, only now we also have one that is not a fraction. The easiest way to fix this is by creating it and turning it into a fraction and we put it over one. Because negative five divided by one is still negative five, Therefore, we have not actually changed the number. We now look to find the LCD, or least common denominator. The least common denominator of 8, 4, 1, and 2 is the number 8. Therefore, we multiply all terms by the number 8. It is important to remember that if you did not put your whole number over one, that you still multiply this number by eight. This will now result in 24x over eight plus 24 over four equals negative 40 plus 56x over two. Now we must reduce all fractions. We do 24 divided by eight and get three x. 
Next, we have 24 divided by 4, and we get a positive 6. The negative 40, remember, was over 1, and therefore is already reduced. 56 divided by 2 is a positive 28 x. Now we have gotten to where all of the fractions are gone. We know, therefore, that we have picked the correct least common denominator. If a fraction is still left, we know that we picked an incorrect least common denominator. We now proceed to solve the equation. To do so, we must get the x's on the same side. It is also helpful once again to put a dotted line to keep us organized. To move the smaller x, we do the opposite and subtract it from both sides. This results in 6 equals negative 40 plus 25x. Now that x has been isolated to one side of the equation, we can solve the equation. To do so, we start by doing the order of operations backwards by adding or subtracting to get things away from the x. We therefore add 40 to both sides. This now gives us 25x equals 46. At this point, we now can divide both sides by 25 to get rid of the multiplication of 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1x, which results in x equals 46 25ths. Since 46 25ths cannot be reduced, that is our final answer. Remember that in problems that have fractions, you must first find the LCD and then use it to clear the fractions by multiplying it by all terms, even those that are not a fraction. After multiplying, make sure to reduce the fractions. If they do not reduce to whole numbers, then you have picked the wrong LCD.